Right, hello peoples of 9F. So today Mrs Curtis is in school and this is the work that we would like you to have a go at while uh, you've got the day to do your work free. So looking at art and keeping on the theme of Swindon, we'd like you to do some research on the artist Ken White. So to start with, um, we'd like you to copy and paste the website. It's on your Google slide and find Ken White's website. So here is it for the video purpose. Mm -hmm. It will be on your slides as well. So have a so look. He's been very well. Sorry, sir. Carry on. Go on. I was going to say, he's been a very well-known um, Swindon artist for many years. Um, so, and he's got some fantastic uh, paintings on there. Oh, to Mrs. Fanning. Um, so have a look at some of these murals. I'm not sure all of them are in Swindon, but some of them definitely are. So this one in particular. No, they're all over the world. Ah is definitely yeah. in Swindon. So part of your challenge is if you are out for a walk and you're in that area, see if you can get a picture of it, or if you're out in the car for whatever reason, see if you can spot this mural by Ken White. Yeah. It was in the newspaper, the local newspaper and everything a couple of years ago. He did a very special one with our other artists that we're going to be looking at. Billy Beaumont. Oh, so we should all recognise that place. I'll just go through. That one says the Brunel Shopping Centre, but I wonder if that's still there. Steam Railway, where we would have been visiting if, uh, if we were allowed to. Apparently they do virtual tours, so um, we might have to have a look into that. Oh, right, yeah. Okay, thank you. Lydiard. Okay, I think that might be all of them. So going back to the work that we'd like you to do, please. Today, we're going to get you started off doing some collage work. So I'll let Mrs. Curtis explain. Right, the instructions will be on the slides, don't worry about that, but all you'll need really is you can use a bit of odd newspaper or a magazine, that's fine. Uh, any bits and pieces of paper that you have at home, I've got a nice blue here for the background. A little bit of black or you can, you can belt tip or paint your paper black to use it if you like. So I just went up and grabbed a handful of different colours. If you haven't got them, stick to just the newspaper, that's fine. And you're really making a collage of a cityscape. So all you need to do, you don't need scissors. You're going to be ripping like that. Your piece is out. You've got, so you can rip it and rip it and stick it basically. So they're diff going to be different sizes. And you can stick them down on your paper like that. So you make a cityscape. It will look good in, in different colours, like the ones you'll see on the screen. But we, I've done newspaper ones with my class before, which are very effective. And then if you take have a black felt tip or any black um, paintbrush or black paint, then you can draw on um draw on an outline and you can put some windows in and it looks absolutely fantastic but i'm asking you to do an old-fashioned street as billy um ken white loved painting his old-fashioned streets in all sorts of dark uh, dark rich colors so if you can do an old-fashioned street that would be lovely and then when you've finished, can we have a photo, um, take a photograph and put it on the slide, please? That would be lovely. Thank you. Excellent. So that's, that's your last challenge for this morning. So good luck and we look forward to seeing your results. Thank you. <laughs>